Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gibran and on this channel, I make informational videos for all the experts living in Germany. Because when you are living abroad, then things are not as easy as it looks. So on this channel, I share my experiences and also things which every expert should know, like must have insurances in Germany, best phone packages and about German bureaucracy, like what is the blue card? What is the difference between the blue card and the normal residence permit and how you can get the permanent visa. So I have already made a video on these topics. You can find some important ones in the video's description. Now today our topic is how I got the German citizen in just six years and how you can also do the same if you plan things accordingly. I will tell you everything you need to do to speed up this process and what things uh, you can do during your student time or during your job time which help you speed up this process. Besides this, I will also tell you about the eligibility criteria and also some additional tips along the way. And I would suggest that if you want to know everything, then watch this video till the end. And if you want me to keep making such videos and then do subscribe my channel by pressing the red button and also my page on Facebook, Thank you. So I start from the beginning. I came to Germany on October 3rd, 2014 and exactly after 6 years, 11 months and 27 days, I got the German citizenship. I could have got in 6 months earlier as well, but I didn't apply because this year I got married and my wife was applying for the family reunion visa. And if I would have started my citizenship process in the middle, then that might have affected the, that family reunion process of my wife. That is why I planned it in a way that she comes here first and then I apply for the citizenship. Now let's discuss first the basic eligibility criteria. Number one, the first is that you should have lived in Germany on a lawful residence permit for more than eight years. Some students think that student visa is not counted, but it is not correct. The student years are also counted in these eight years. Number two, you can support yourself and your family financially without any state funding, like for example, unemployment benefit two, housing benefits. Number three, you don't have any criminal record. Number four, you have successfully passed the naturalization test, which is Einbruggen test in German. Number five, you are willing to give up your previous citizenship. Some countries allow dual nationality with Germany, but you can check the list. Number six, you accept the German constitution and live your life according to it. This is the basic requirement, but you can reduce this from eight years to seven years if you have completed the integration course successfully. Well, now you will ask, what is this integration course? I have already made a video, complete video on it and explain all the things, all the integration course things, requirements and how you can apply for it in that video. So if you are looking for it, then check out in the description. Here's one pro tip that if you come here as a student, then do your integration integration course as early as possible because once you start working full time here or you get married then it is really hard to do integration course because you don't have much time for that. Some of my friends didn't take this thing seriously and after seven years they don't have time for this so complete your integration course as soon as possible. Another tip here is that which a friend of mine confirmed from BAMF is that suppose if you don't want to take the integration course then you can give the DTZ exam which is equivalent to B1 exam also the Leben in Deutschland exam and then send the past exam certificate to BAMF and they can issue you the integration course certificate. But for this your DTZ exam should not be older than one year and your Leben in Deutschland exam should not be older than six months. I don't have the source for this information. It's just that a friend of mine called there and confirmed this thing from them, but I don't have any written source from them. Now, some people can argue that if I give the B1 exam and the Eibrugung test, then it is the same thing. From the knowledge level, it is the same, but according to law, it is not. So now what happens if you already have the B1 exam and the Eibrugung certificate, then you can only do one thing that you email or call your Eibrugung department in your city and ask them if they will going to accept this or not and let you apply for the citizenship in seven years because this now depends on the visa officer. I know some people who got citizenship with just B1 and Eibrugung exam but as I said it depends on the visa officer. Now that was for seven years. You can shorten this time to six years like me if you have shown further integration activities in the German social system. One of them is easy that you either have a B2 or C1 level German or there are other activities like for example you did some volunteer work at the Red Cross or maybe you did some volunteer work in the refugee camp or anything similar. All these activities are counted as integration activities but the tricky part here is that they say that you can shorten this period by showing special integration integration and this thing varies from state to state. Some accept B2 certificate as a part of it has special integration. Some say that you need C1 language and some say that you need to do volunteer work beside your language requirement as well. So it depends on the state. 
I live in Freiburg and they have accepted my B2 language certificate. You can also visit a government subsidized B2 language. I have already made a video on that. You can check that out. Link is in the description. Now let's discuss the timeline from which date you count your ES. Some people count it from the day of their first city station like Anmeldung and some count it from the day they land in Germany. So it is up to you as per my understanding or my knowledge, they count it from the day you land in Germany. But I couldn't able to find or confirm this part as well. I haven't found any online source or any written law about it. So I think it depends on the person. Another pro tip here is that suppose that after listening to all the requirements, you know that the next year you might be eligible for citizenship. Then I would suggest that email or call the Einbruggen department in your city because each city functions differently. Some say that you need the appointment to submit the documents. Some say that once you think that you are eligible, then complete your application by checking the documents on their website and then drop the application at some box or application box like that and they will contact you when they will open your application like i know about frankfurt that there they say that drop your application in the einbrugen department and they will contact you once they reach your application which could easily takes three to six months in frankfurt so if you want to plan things then check with your einbrugen department about the application process for example in my city they say that you need an appointment to submit the documents but the current status in freiburg is that if you book an appointment today then you get an appointment for the next year october or november it's like there is a 13 months delay in the appointment. That means even though you are eligible today, but cause of the appointment, your citizenship process will start after one year. So plan things in time. Then you will ask what documents you need for your Einbruggen. Well, for this, I'm attaching the link to the Firebooks Einbruggen office website. You can check the list of documents there. The list of documents is more or less the same all over Germany, but so you can either check the one from your city or one from Firebook. It is totally up to you. Keep that in mind that if you have some documents in English or in any other language, then you need to translate them because they want all the documents in German as well. I know a service which does official translation and you can send them your documents via their website and they will deliver the translated documents to you on your address. I will add the link in the description. Another pro tip here that some Einbruggen documents you need to sign in front of them. Please read those documents before going there because I know one case where the visa officer suddenly asked him about what is written in those documents without looking at them. And if you get blank there, then they might say that he is not accepting your documents this time. You need to come again and next time come prepared. So I would suggest at least read that loyalty document and other forms carefully so you will know what is written there because you never know what the visa officer can ask you. As for me, she didn't ask anything. She just said that sign here, sign there and that's it for you. So I would suggest read your documents. After submitting the documents, your process will start and after their processing, they will issue you to this room. Well, this processing period can vary from one month to 12 months because they do a security check in all the cities where you have lived in. For me, it took only one month because from the beginning I was in Freiburg, so they only need to do the security check from one city. I was a bit lucky here, I would say, but this doesn't mean that you should not change your city before your citizenship. You can change your city if you are going for internship or anything else. After getting the suit issue, it is time to renounce your current citizenship citizenship. As I am from Pakistan, I have to submit. I have submitted my documents to the Frankfurt consulate and got the renunciation certificate in just three months. This process could vary from country to country. Some countries process this thing in a month. Some take six months. During this time, if anything changes, like suppose if your job changes, your address changes, your city changes or your matter status changes, then you have to inform the Einbruggen department. After you get the renunciation certificate, you need to submit that to the Einbruggen department to get the Einbruggen Urkunde, which is like a citizenship certificate. Once you get the citizenship certificate, then you can apply for the German housewife and the passport at the Rat House. One pro tip here is that you can apply both of them together. I thought that I have to apply first the housewife and then the passport, but you can apply for both together. Keep that in mind that after picking up the renunciation certificate, your nationality status is stateless because you don't have any past citizenship and the German government hasn't provided you with any citizenship yet. You get the citizenship once you get the Einbrugung Urkunde. One more thing here is that the Suzishung and the Einbrugung Urkunde process is also different for some nationalities like some nationalities get the Suzishung and Einbrugung Urkunde together and then the Einbrugung department gives them 6 to 12 months to submit the renunciation certificate otherwise they will take back the German nationality. But if you are from Pakistan then the process is that you first get the Suzishun certificate and then you submit the renunciation certificate and then you get the Einbrugung Urkunde. So if you ask me that how much time it took me in total last year in November, I called Einbrugung office and got the appointment for May. And then after submitting the documents, I got the Suzishun in just one month in June. And then in July, I applied for the renunciation certificate at the Pakistani consulate. And in September, I got my renunciation certificate. I got the Einbrugung next day after submitting the renunciation certificate. And then it takes three to four weeks to get the German passport and the housewives. 
if you want it before then you can get the express passport in just four days and for that you have to pay i think 30 to 40 euros more but i don't remember because i applied for the normal one now you may ask that what rights you get once you become the German citizen. Number one, you can stay outside Germany as long as you want and you can come back whenever you want. Number two, you can get the German passport. Number three, you can vote in the European and the German parliament elections. Number four, you can work as a civil servant, like you can go to into politics, work in the forces and all of that. Now you might ask like when your spouse can apply for the citizenship. Your spouse can apply for citizenship after two years of getting married to a German citizen or have lived in Germany for three years. Let's take the example of my wife. She came here in April this year. So in April 2024, she will fulfill both conditions that she already married to a German citizen for two years and also lived in Germany for three years on a valid residence permit. Another question that you might ask is that can you and your spouse can apply for the citizenship at the same time? Yes, but in this case, your spouse should fulfill the second condition where he or she should live in Germany for three years. Let's say that you got married in the fifth year of your living in Germany and after marriage, your spouse also came to Germany with you then after three years you both can apply for the citizenship because you have lived here for eight years and your spouse lived here for three years and that time shorting thing which I told you like for seven years and six years you can also do the math for that another misconception people have is that you can only apply for citizenship when you have a PR not necessarily if you fulfill all the requirements then you, you can also get the citizenship with the normal residence permit as well as blue card now if you're interested in a video about blue card or a PR in Germany then you can find those videos also in the description and also about the other important videos which I said every expat should see once they are also in the description. One last thing that all the information that I have provided in today's video is based on my and my friends experiences and also some online sources. Things could be different or same for you when you apply for citizenship. So now if you have any questions then comment below I will love to answer your questions and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and also the Facebook page. See you next time in another video. Till then. Ciao ciao. Thank <laughs> you.